one of the things you've talked about being a challenge for this band, given your epic, your storied live show, is how you translate that to uh, a record, a recording. Uh, and you've said, uh, Dan, you've said in the past, we spent so much time on producing the records with animals, we wanted to capture the edge of our live show. A lot of bands say that. How, how do you go about actually making that happen? You seem to have accomplished <laughs> it with this record. I think one of the first things is that you take away a click track when you're <laughs> recording, and you sort of just, we, you know, we set up all everything in a studio. Everybody sort of talks about live off the floor, but we really just sort of try to give it that energy and, and you know, really just go to the drums and play to the drums with uh, Jason's takes, you know, and just sort of capture that energy. And even though it's it's never perfect in time, you know, it sways back and forth, but it creates that sort of live edge, I think. Definitely. <laughs> there's a, there's you a don't have to add it. <laughs> um, Joseph, you've described this band as, as wanting to make really fun, unpretentious music that makes us laugh. You know, I love that. It's also quite the opposite tack from many bands you would see, say, praised in music blogs like Pitchfork. Do you, do you find people, the music of today, or at least the musicians of today, uh, taking themselves too seriously? I, I think anybody that, that makes a lifestyle out of playing music and takes themselves seriously, it needs to get over it. It's <laughs> seriously the most ridiculous thing you could do with your time ever, is to travel around in a band, in a van with a bunch of goofballs and play rock and roll music. So for us, it's, if it's not making us laugh and, and we're not having a good time with it, I, I don't want to play it. Wow. But it is a, it's a hard job too, right? I mean, you don't want to minimize the, the work that people put in doing this. Or, or maybe you do. I'm trying to remember that, <laughs> that uh, Pete Townsend quote, like, there's nothing more important and more ridiculous in rock and roll. I think it is, it is a, a lot of work and, um, you know, a lot of long hours and it's definitely a labor of love. But at the end of the day, if it's, it's joy. You know, that's what playing music should be is, is uh, joy. Man, if every band could come in here with your attitude after having played <laughs> the night before and doing this, I'd be uh, very grateful. How do you walk the line between honoring your influences and maintaining a, a unique sound. People talk about, I mean, we can hear the influences from the 70s, the 80s, the 60s in some cases. Uh, tell me about the way you approach that, Dan. Well, I think that anybody who, you know, sort of say has a band and they're like, I want to write a song like Led Zeppelin or I want to do this, isn't really being sincere. Like what, what we sort of do, you know, we just basically write songs and don't really think about it too much. And if it happens to take from your influences and all the sort of artists that you listen to, then then that's great. You know, it, I mean, we do love listening to a lot of 70s and 80s and 60s rock and roll and all sorts of things, but we don't try, you know, I think that's the key is you don't try to sound like anything. You try to sound like yourself and you try to write songs the best way you can. And if it happens to, you know, one, you know, like for in that last song, Teacher, you know, we were playing these chords in the sort of chorus and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that sounds sort of like the who, you know, that's like really milk, you know, sort of just like, it just sort of happens. It's, uh, it's all You don't written. worry about that. No, I think it's, it's better to just sort of, uh, you know, write a song as you want to write a song and, uh, and just, you know, don't try too hard to worry about, uh, you know, making it sound like anything in particular. It's a really, it's a strong record. It's really fun to see you play live. And I hope you get a ton of attention with this and a lot more people see you. Uh, thank you so much for doing this today. Thank yeah. you. It's been Thanks a pleasure to have us. you here. Vancouver represent our Friday Live guests, Bend Sinister.